What's up everyone, this is Sweaty Zeus and this is going to be a quick guide video on getting the Euphoria Twin Blade. So we're going to start right here at Spiral, Rise, and Anir Alim. And first of all, we're going to take out a couple of these guys. It's going to make your trek a little easier. So that's the route we're going to head, but first we're going to work our way up here. There's going to be one of these priest guys that's going to bombard you on your way uh, down the route we're going to take. So take him out first and it'll make it a little easier. Because we are going to face a few enemies along the way and there's actually one of those divine beasts that can be pretty tough towards the end. So you don't want to get there and then be low on health or FP or anything. So he's not a problem. They're pretty easy as long as you sneak up behind them. They don't, they don't even fight back. But head down the stairs and then right here is where we're going to jump off. We're going to head over this way, drop off this ledge, just go off very carefully and slowly. Then we're going to jump down here. Now I'm going to pick up the items along the way just so you can see what they are. Most of them are a waste of your time and not worth falling. But over here is going to be a um, pickled liver, holy proof. Those are actually really good and kind of rare, so that one might be worth getting. And this one's going to be some... Upgrade stones, non-somber version, smithing eights, two of them. It's a little tricky right here. You got to angle away from the wall to jump up. Just don't angle away too far. So right here, you could just roll off. You don't really need to jump like that. This item definitely is not. I wouldn't worry about it. It's just Lord Sworn bolts. <laughs> it's kind of a troll. And then uh, be sure to jump down that one instead of walking off. You can fall in the gap if you just walk off. So we'll drop down here, deal with this guy. And then there is going to be a scattered tree fragment a little further down. So just remember to pick it up. There's a somber five. Fireproof pickled liver, very nice. Now here you're going to want to do a running jump. Be sure to do that because that's the only way you're going to make it. We're actually in Bellarat Tower Settlement again. So we're going to work our way over here. There's going to be a scorpion that drops out at you. But here is the scattered tree fragment you're going to want to pick up. There's a scorpion. Like a scorpion spider I think they're called. Once you take out him we're going to go this way. towards this big elevator. A lot of elevators on this path. There's like three or four of them. We're gonna ride the big elevator down. And we're gonna go straight out that door. But I guess I just wanted to look around and make sure I wasn't missing anything here. By the way, this uh, Midra's sword thing I got here. I forget what it's called, but Oh man, the Ash of War on it's so cool. Especially in uh, PvP. So once you go out there and take a right, it uh, kind of locks onto an enemy and sprouts the uh, barbs out through them. Just like the cutscene whenever you fight Mindra. So I'm a real big fan of it. Unfortunately, I wish it did it on regular enemies. Or hopefully they can patch it, make it do that or something. But still really cool. And the Ash does a lot of damage. Alright, next we got our next Divine Beast. We're going to take out on these stairs. Multi-layered Ring of Light does really well on him. If you're a Faith build. I really like that spell. It's got amazing range. And uh, really holds on the target for a second. and Does pretty damn good damage. So We're going to work our way down. Take another elevator. Almost there though. Nothing in here. I'm gonna head straight out. And in that room is gonna be the Euphoria Twin Blade. That's what we're here for. Boy are they proud of it. They really hit it. <laughs> so it's not too hard to find, but it's just like a long path. This weapon's really unique in how it works, especially with the ash, so 
As you hit enemies, it's gonna light up and turn more golden. And then when you release with the Ash of War, it's gonna basically do a more powerful version of the Ash if you've hit enough enemies and built it up enough. So there's the description. Here's what it looks like at plus 10 with 60-ish decks and I think like 55 faith. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Take care.